Hey guys, how's it going? So we're gonna be uh, doing something in Calculus 2 today. It's still related to volume, but we're gonna be talking about finding the volume of a rotating object around an axis using the cylindrical shells method. This is a much easier method to understand and handle compared to the previous method I used in my previous video. Um, but uh, it takes a little bit of understanding to grasp it. So we're going to be approaching this with the same problem I did in the last video, the one with the triangle. Um, so let's go about it. So in case if you guys forgot, this was the question. Uh, so yeah, x, y. It was a triangle that was rotated about either the x-axis or x equals 2.5. So your, your, your point. That's two, one, that's one, zero, and that's one, two. Can't remember uh, which one I said was L1 and L2, but uh, I don't think that really matters. So let's... Uh, Let's go about this using the cylindrical shells method. So what do we know about cylinders? Um, the cylinder, this is what a typical cylinder looks like. If you don't know this, I really don't know what to say. You shouldn't be in this class. Um, basically, um, the, vol the volume of a cylinder with your radius here, and your height here, you already know that this is two pi r h. And basically when you have a function, we'll call this f of x. We could be working with f of x and f of y, but consider one with f of x here. Um, you can actually categorize this function and split it up into infinite tiny cylinders. I look like this, then this, sorry for my terrible drawing, then this. That doesn't even look like a cylinder. That looks like a brain surgery gone wrong. And this, and then so on and so forth. And basically, uh, you could say V then is equal to integral from B to A. And um, let's see here, you're rotating it about the, uh, what should we call it? Rotating it about the X axis. No, rotating it about the Y axis, basically. And when you're rotating this about the uh, y-axis, um, yeah, let's see this. When you're rotating about this uh, uh, function, y equals f of x, about the uh, y-axis, then you have this two pi r, par, two pi r, f of x dx. The f of x constitutes your height. And this is your r, basically. So yeah, um, and then here it would just be x. But if it was along, uh, r would equal x in this case. But you have to be careful. Sometimes it's not just equal to x. Uh, yeah, and there's also a rule of thumb if you're using it with respect to f of x or f of y, and I'm just gonna make, make that state that rule here. Um, if you're integrating, if you're sorry, not integrating, if you're rotating an object about a horizontal line, um, in other words, y is equal to a, where a is a real number integrate with respect to y. Uh, it's different in the other method, the dishwasher method, we integrate with respect to x in such a case. Um, 
if rotating about a vertical line x equals a integrate with respect to x, which is again opposite to what we did last time. So hope you take a second to look at this. I'm going to be deleting the, all this. All right, here we go. So we want to do the same thing as last time. A is about the x-axis. And B is about the line X equals 2.5. So let's go about um, A first. I'm going to write this formula here so you guys can see it. I, I'm going to be referring to this. B A 2 pi r f of x or f of y dx, dx or dy. So let's go. So part A is about the uh, x-axis. The radius r here is the radius from, which is the distance from your uh, shape to uh, that place you're integrating about. So um, here it's y equals zero, and this is a horizontal line. So we're gonna be doing it with respect to y this time. Okay, so um, v is equal to, and uh, like the, last time we integrated with respect to y, these are two separate functions. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to uh, cut this up in half right now um, and do it from 0 to 1 and then 1 to 2. It will be easier that way. So v is equal to, and keep this radius stuff in mind right now, 1, 0. 2 pi, our radius is just y because that's the distance from the figure to the x-axis. It's just y. So our radius is y. And I'm going to draw the cylinder here to like kind of show what's going on. So the radius is y, r equals y. And our height is just f of y. Which is equal to, oh no, uh, yeah, we also have to include the uh, other. Plus, and then one from uh, y to two, one to two. 2 pi, and then the radius is again y, because, yeah, y. 2 pi y, another f of y. These are two different f of y's. Which is equal to 1, 0, 2 pi y. Um, yeah, so f of y this time. So basically, we need to uh, find the height, the, the shell height, like this, sort of, if you guys could see what I mean. Like, we need to make a function that shows the distance of this, these shell heights, basically, with respect to y. Um, so here from zero to one, 
Okay, so what did I say last time for L1? What was that parameter? It was y plus one. Sorry, x plus one is equal to y. y is equal to x plus one. And then L2, y was e x was equal to three minus y. Ugh, no. Sorry, I'm we're doing this with respect to y. I I um made a slight mistake here. That was x is equal to y plus one. So the shell radius for from zero to one, that's y plus one minus one. It's like y plus one minus one here. So that would be just y plus from one to two, two pi y, and then times, um, this time it's three minus y, three minus y minus one. That's the shell, the function is two minus y. That's the shell radius from one to two, dy. Okay, let's, uh, let's solve this out. Let's go about to solving this. Um, so this is y squared and when you just uh, two pi. Um, y squared dy plus two pi, um, and then from one to two, two y minus y squared dy. And that's equal to two pi one over three y cubed plus two pi y squared minus y cubed over three. from one to two. All right, and now we can just evaluate. Two pi times one over three. I expect the answer to be two pi since we're like this, th these two methods should give you the same answer. If it doesn't, it means you did something wrong. Two pi, okay, so when you do it about two, that's four minus eight over three, that's four over three. Okay, and about one, one minus one over three, that's two over three. Two pi over three plus four pi over three, that's six pi over three, which is just two pi, which is the exact same answer we got when using the other dishwasher rotating method. All right, so that's part A done. Let's do part B now. Let me just also erase these lines. All 
All right. So B, about x equals 2.5. That looks a bit something like this. This diagram is not drawn to scale, obviously. All right. So this time we're going about a vertical line. So we're going to integrate this, do the volume with respect to x. So v is equal to from B to A, A to no, from A to B, two pi r f of x dx. And now we're gonna go about this. Okay, so um, h is equal to f of x. This case, I'm gonna do this things separately. So h is equal to f of x. And we need to find the shell height this time. Looks something like this, with these little circles I'm drawing here. And we have L2 and L1, which we need to parameterize with respect to x. So L1 is equal to, uh, is um, from y is equal to x minus 1. And L2 was from y equals 3 minus x. So then here it's 3, the height is, the height, the shell height, would be a function of L2 minus L1, which is uh, 3 minus x. minus L1, X minus one. Let's see, three minus X uh, minus X plus one, that's four minus two X. So that would be our shell height. Now the radius um, is 2.5 minus X. because 2.5 here, and then x, um, yeah, here. So when x is one, it's like 2.5 minus one, that's 1.5, that's the radius here. If x was uh, 1.5, um, 2.5 minus 1.5, that's one. Yeah, so the distance here, like 2.5 minus the value of x gives you your radius in this case. So let's uh, plug these values in. And we're doing this from x equals one to x equals two with this triangle. So a is one and b is two. Two pi, 2.5 minus x, times four minus two X. DX. And the calculations are a lot cleaner with this cylindrical shells method. I, I like this method better. It's, it's more convenient as opposed to the previous video like this. It was like the calculations were a lot very messy. Okay, so you saw what H and R is equal to. So I'm going to let, let you look at this, and now I'm going to erase this now. So yeah. And that's equal to 2 pi. Since we're so close to finishing this question, I'm just going to go ahead and just solve everything. When you distribute this part out, that's 2x squared minus 9x plus 10. and dx, and that is equal to two pi, 
two over, um, let's see, so that's two over three X cubed. Minus nine over two X squared plus 10 X. And from one to two. When it equals, okay, so when this stuff at X equals two, you're gonna get a value of 22 over three. 22 over three, my, and when it's equal to one, this stuff is equal to one, that's 37 over six. And that is equal to seven pi over three, just like the previous video. So that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love to stay, but for now, I gotta jump. I'll see you guys on the other side of the bridge. Catch you next time.